Once again, Labor's outmanoeuvred the Liberal Party in a hung parliament. We've seen this show before and we know how it ends. Jay Wetherill's weekend dash to Port Pirie sealed the deal with independent Jeff Brock. Jay Wetherill's government is an illegitimate government. He presides over a parliament uh, where he holds on with the support of a Conservative seat independent. Labor says the results show Liberals fail to convince South Australians of the need for change. It also reflects awareness among South Australians about Tony Abbott. Liberals say not for the first time they won the popular vote but not a majority of seats. Either the Electoral Commission have had a whoops moment on several occasions uh, or they don't know how to draw electoral boundaries in order to fulfil the requirements of the Act. Electoral attention's now being turned to Western Australia where an Electoral Commission mistake is forcing a Senate by-election. The government's concentrating pressure on Labor by resuming debate in the Senate on the repeal of the mining tax. We'll be voting against uh, this legislation, we've made that clear. The coalition's accusing the Labor leader of giving West Australians the impression he's against the tax. We used to say he was the faceless man, he's now the many faces man. He was the faceless man, now he's the two-faced man. You know what it should be called? Hitting those who can least afford it. That's what the name of the bill should be. And union heavyweight Paul Howes has revealed he's stepping down as the head of the Australian Workers' Union. Liberals doubt it's the end of his political ambition. I assume Paul Howes is making a play for uh, federal parliament. He's been a, a, an outstanding contributor to the Labor cause uh, and I've no doubt in whatever capacity he can in the future uh, he will continue to make a great contribution to Labor. The move's already giving rise to speculation. Mr Howes could one day challenge his one-time mentor as leader of the Labor Party. The biggest threat to Bill Shorten is Bill Shorten himself. Mr Howes will step down in July and denies he's seeking a in Parliament. Tom Eagleton, ABC News, Canberra.